Hello, this is question four of the extended response question. And some electronics company is designing their new logo and it's modeled by these two functions. We have f of x being this two sine x function and g of x being a half sine two x. And all the measurements are in meters. So this is, this is a big logo. Now, they've said that the total area can be calculated using this integral. That might look a bit odd. They're saying you can go from 0 to pi, you can integrate there, and times it by some quantity a, and then work out the area. This is quite nuanced. There's a couple things to notice. The first thing to notice is the symmetry here need to notice that this quantity actually fits in there. So the sine function symmetrical, so that can be plonked into there. This quantity here can be plonked into there. That'll fit perfectly. So now you can find that area by dealing with only 2 sine x. So you can find this area here because you've moved those around just by dealing with f of x. Well, they're going from 0 to 2 pi here, but they're integrating from 0 to pi here. So you have to notice another bit of symmetry, lots of symmetry. You have to notice that this entire area here is identical to the one here. So you have to notice these two areas match. How do we find the value of A? Then what can we do here? Well, you should be able to do this by inspection. If you have the integral from zero, to pi of 2 sine x here, from 0 to pi of 2 sine x, that's going to give you this area. And then we have to multiply it by 2 to get this one as well. So we multiply that by 2. And then you need to recognize that this coefficient here of sine x can be taken out out the front like that, and then we're left with sine x dx, which will give us the area, and matching this expression to this one, we can see that a is equal to 4. There are a number of ways to work it out. That way is probably the quickest and uses the most inspection.